Uh, timing starts the second you hit new game. You start out on this screen, you'll want to walk to the left. You can jump over those two slimes, but kill them. Jump and kill all the bats. Uh, the closer you get to the top of the ladder, the better, because when you jump, uh, you can basically grab a ladder at any point in a jump, but, uh, thank you, uh, but, uh, it's really slow climbing up once you grab it. Okay, fine. Walk to the left. Kill both of these slimes, because the, uh, the more chances you get at getting ammo drops, the better. You need three ammo drops before getting the bombs. So this room is just slime, slime, jump up to that ladder, kill the bats. You can kill both those bats in one swing, jump onto the top of that ladder. Really easy stuff right now. So, this room, I have a visual cue for when I jump uh, to get on that platform. So basically, I hold up and left, so I automatically get off the ladder and start walking, so there's a consistent timing. And then right as you pass the middle of the end of that arch, then you jump there, and you just hold that jump and hold left, and you should get onto the platform no problem. From there, once the top of the platform hits this line, where the uh, top part of the arch starts, that's when you'll want to jump off that platform, and you'll want to be on the edge when you're doing that. So, one more time middle of the arch, right at that line. Then just jump over here, uh, right at the end of this staircase, and hold down and left, and then just transition into down, and you'll go right down that ladder. Uh, you'll want to pause right here. You can't, um, you can't actually get past this turret trying to just go as fast as you can, you will get hit, and the hit stun in this game is absolutely enormous. Like, you'll lose a few seconds, one or two seconds each hit, so just pause there and continue on down. Then, uh, once you get off that ladder, hold down and left, down and right, sorry, transition into down and left, and then right at the middle of the end of this tile, you can jump to get to the treasure chest, and you'll want to basically push up as soon as you get to the landing point right here, and then you'll get the copper pick, and that allows you to break those blocks up in the corner very, uh, very simply put, just three hits. I'm not sure if it actually depends on the amount of damage something does. So, after doing that, you drop down. You don't want to jump off onto this thing, although it doesn't really matter. Walk past the room transition, and while the screen is black, buffer a jump. Like, right as you're coming out, you'll want to buffer that jump, because you can do that in between rooms, and it'll just get you onto here. Then do a hop from about there. about the end of the ladder, hit the slime, and then just walk to the uh, right. And you should fall down here, keep holding right, 
You can buffer a jump there, you don't need to. Kill those two slimes, just jump. Kill that bat by jumping, and then just fall right down the ladder. This room, uh, basically you want to go down the ladder, pause at any point for just a short amount of time, and then continue down and jump as soon as you hit the bottom. And that should get you right past that guard. Alternatively, if you're really not comfortable about ammo, if you have like zero here, then you can just kill that guard and uh, hope he drops ammo. Because the start of this game is really a bit of a grind. Kill those two slimes at the very least. If you're having troubles with ammo, jump up and kill the third. So. That's the structure it'd be if you uh, were low on ammo. And then, if you're good on ammo, you can do that. And just, you know, hold left the entire time you're falling, and you'll land right here. Which is good, because you can't jump. Come on. So. I'm just hitting a charger. Alright. So. It's okay, if he comes back too late, I won't let him. Yep. He'll sleep on my floor. Do you want to go? No. Ah. Oh. Monkey. Monkey. I love Monkey. He's the most adorable monkey ever. Hey, wait. Do you want to cook here? Oh, yeah. Look how cool that is. Just sit back.
Alright, I'm back. Let me find my controller. I'm actually gonna go grab a drink of water real quick. I see you found the Franker face Z emotes. Anyway, back to the tutorial. So, for the bat room, which is the boomerang room, you'll want to jump around this ledge, then jump at the bats, kill two, and you'll want to kite the last bat over. And then hit him and then uh, turn around so that you're going back toward the boomerang. So there's a common technique with killing two enemies in one jump and as a general rule you can do that as long as they're pretty much next to each other you can just link the attacks together. And there's really no way to do that room slower exactly. I guess you could... and then do the kite as a separate thing. Like that. Whatever floats your boat. RNG slimes. If you have enough ammo and can get dodge them, uh, that's probably the best. If you have enough ammo, dodge this guy, just jump uh, past this ladder. But really, this room is just one of the easiest ways to get ammo at the start. You just, you know, do a series of jumps. So, yeah, that's pretty simple. Uh, so this is the room where you get the uh, power gauntlet or whatever. So just climb the ladder, and how I time this is, as soon as I hear the sound, I just go, I just hold down for a moment, and then 
switch back to up. And that was a bit off. So that's about right. And then what you're going to want to do is... Oh, right. Uh, at some point before this room, you're going to want to switch to the boomerang so that you can use it at will. Oh, and I guess I have the power band already now, so that sort of messes up the strategy. But then you get to the top, kill the two bats in one thing, and then while you're descending you throw a boomerang, which will do two hits to the block, sword for the last hit, and pick up the chest. Going into this room, this... alright. So first of all, this ghost is random. He does... his movements are just nonsensical. You can't really predict what path he's gonna take. So what you do is you jump and throw a boomerang and just hope it hits him. Hope he doesn't screw with you too much. And there, he screwed with me, but then he sort of forgave me. Which he can do, but I wouldn't count on it. So just throw the boomerang and take the RNG. Nothing really to do there, except the alternate strategy I was talking about for Dungeon 4, which is right here. There's a treasure chest containing the blue scroll. And you can't actually reach this, and if you go out of the room, the block will be full again, so what you have to do is actually juke the ghost, and this will be good, so that he hits you into the cavity with the chest. And that's random, obviously. So, you can do that. I don't recommend it. This room, just come up, kill the three slimes in a row, grab whatever drops they may give. This room's simple, jump over that guy, jump over that gap. This room, there is poisonous gas all along here. So what you want to do is just take a bit of time, go against this edge, and make sure you can just... make Basically, take a bit of time to make sure you're jumping off of this instead of dropping down and trying to jump and not being able to. Because this is the place you want to jump off of to make the jump to there. And then after that, just pop over the... Uh, this puff of gas and jump again. That's that room. Here, short hop, climb down the ladder. This is the room where you get the silver uh, pick. This room. Go down. Uh, you're gonna be holding down and left here. Once you get on the ground, go to normal left. When you get about here, or a bit earlier, so right before the ladder, or before the middle of the ladder at least, you're going to want to throw your boomerang. So, there-ish. But at this, but right after you throw that, you're going to want to start descending the ladder. And that'll break that. Which is good, because it would normally take a lot more. And you can sometimes miss the window. And then... Basically the strategy from there... Which is a bit weird because now I have the silver pick. Basically, this guy will shoot. You'll want to jump off as soon as... Uh, You'll want to jump at the chest 
uh, right after the thing passes you, and you'll want to stand right here while waiting, so... And then you're gonna want to pick up the chest, and uh, while you're in the pause, as the chest is getting... as the item message is showing, you're gonna want to hold right again, and then as soon as that prompt exits, you'll want to jump. And that should get you uh, down to here, and then just climb down the ladder. This room's simple, just whenever you're getting off of the ladder, be sure you're holding the direction you want to go, and just jump over that puff of gas. Real simple. So just walk forward there, mash at a moderate speed, climb this ladder. You can wait for that if you want. So let's see that again. Note the direction I'm holding so that I don't have to reorient after it. And then I'll, that'll just get you right through. If you're short on ammo, drop down, kill this guy. You'll want to stutter a bit. Just pause and then... Otherwise just jump over him like that. Going into this room. Jump around there, kill both the bats in a single jump. And that's pretty much it for that room. Here, climb down the ladder, go across, and be prepared for this room. And for this room, about here, you're going to want to do a single jump, and then another single jump. Right as you hit the ground. And I think I'm actually dead here. So I'm going to show a little trick. If you end the process, uh, if you quit out of the game, if it basically crashes, the game actually keeps a, uh, a backup load right at the entrance of each screen. So here, I'm right where I was when I entered that screen, with the same amount of health, the same ammo. You can't use it for uh, warps of any kind because it doesn't save progress after you enter the room. So, it's just a nice thing when practicing or recovering. So again, just early in the room, two jumps, descend the ladder, get, be sure to hold the direction you want to go as well as down, and then just jump into that bat keep holding that direction, and you'll go into this room. Hold the direction you want to go, stop holding down, jump over this gap, simple. This room has a few different outcomes, or really two different outcomes, so no matter what, you're gonna want to go to this first... you're gonna want to go to the end of this first platform, wait a bit until he turns around, and then hit him twice with your sword, or once with your boomerang, if you want. Both will kill him, one wastes ammo, one doesn't, and they take the same amount of time since you're waiting anyway. So, go to the end, wait, and then kill. So, the guard, after you do that, has two basic positions he can be in. Uh, so, I'll try to show both of those. No. Uh, So this is one, facing away from you, and he'll freeze there, and if that's the case, you'll want to throw a boomerang at him, wait for it to kill him, and then just jump along your merry, on your merry way. Uh, the other possibility is this... no, that's the same one. Well, hold on. Reloading again. Falling into the water is basically a run killer. Alright. 
What? Is this still... oh. Alright. So, the RNG on this guy might give you... Huh. That's not it. So yeah, that falling into water, really bad. It's really just not something you ever want to do. Oh. Crap. So I'm just going to play again up to this point. And I'm actually going to use a tool I have... This is my practice thing, right? Because I have a Python tool I wrote that lets me change the beginning of the room saves to the actual uh, load game save, which is really nice when practicing individual rooms. So. I'm probably going to be using that throughout this tutorial. And we're really not even up to Dungeon 1 yet, but it'll just be a few minutes until I can get there. I'm trying to show good form here. So far it's been working pretty well, except for... okay. Getting ammo. Sometimes you don't go quite far enough to kite that guy. Just walk into him. Do it the slow way. See? So, killing that guy, even though it took some time, is much better than farming for that ammo. And now I'm set. And that's just unavoidable. So you can sort of juke him there into going in an attack pattern that probably won't hit you if he hits you once. If he hits you once, then you pretty much can't get the blue scroll unless you reload the room. Although I've never really tried using the blue scroll in a run, it definitely does not save time over just, you know, zip first try, which I have gotten. Alright, so we're basically back. Yeah, okay, we're good. So I'm gonna bring up that save tool. Yeah, I'm in my practice directory, so that's good. Which means I don't need this anymore. Alright, so now... I have a quick save here. Not something you can do in actual runs, but really helpful for practice. Alright, so... Yeah, he can do that. Otherwise, he can stand with his sword. Let me see if I can get it to happen. Not like that. Yeah, he can stand like that, in which case you'll want to, you know, jump onto that really small gap he gives you and, you know, hope you don't accidentally walk into the tip of the sword. So 
So that room is also a bit RNG influenced. So you climb up and you wait right here until the platform's coming back to you. And then you uh, jump between the platform. Oh, he offered it there, but yeah. Let's see if he does it again. Nope. Oh. Once the platform's coming back, just jump, jump, jump. Uh, you might need to dodge the ghosts if they decide to come after you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to highlight it. I'm... Uh, ideally, I'll post it up, I'll post it up on YouTube. Uh, a bit edited, so it's not quite as awful. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I intend to highlight it just as it is. Alright, so climb up this ladder. And go right to the edge here and throw a boomerang. Alright, that was bad. And I'm actually gonna make another quick save here. Alright. Go up. Throw a boomerang here, and then jump so the boomerang hits it, and in that same jump, swing your sword twice. That's the first step of this room, which is the room where you get bombs. Just like so. It's alright if you can't stay. It is late, I'm assuming, for you. I'm not sure. It's late over here. I have some free time. So there's two ways you can uh, really approach this room after uh, you... Okay, so generally the strategy here is do the first step and then do short hop two short hop sword swings. Which will kill him right there. Just like so. And then... Uh, hold on, let me reload to get my ammo back. Oh. It is about 11 p.m. here, so there is a time difference for you. Hold on, let me get this right. Or you can wait until this laser do another thing, another round of twice in one jump. Doesn't make too much of a difference, maybe a second. Then you'll want to jump to this platform, throw a boomerang, jump to the next one, wait for the laser, two boomerangs, and you really can't afford to wait there, so you have to throw those two right away. And after uh, those two boomerangs, we'll just kill him before he can fire. Oh, time that a bit badly. Wait for the laser. Two boomerangs. Then jump up here. Two more boomerangs. Jump. Uh, and when you're descending, use your sword, which will also take care of that guy. These guys need five hits to die.
And also, one thing to know is that you don't want to time it so that uh, the sword hit and the boomerang hit hits that first turret at the same time. Because at that point, uh, invincibility frames will set in and you won't get the extra hit from the boomerang or the sword. They both do the same amount of damage. Or, you can do something like that, which is the same thing. So anyway, doing this room for real. Then jump over here, grab the bombs, and now you're about to do your first zip. So, there aren't really many rules to uh, that you need to know for this one. Basically, and I'm going to want to have my cursor for this, so... You should be able to... Let me just check that you can see that on the... You can... All right, you can see the cursor. So basically, right. Uh, so you need to be a certain uh, amount of space away when you throw the bomb uh, to get it right on the center of the ladder, and that should be basically around here these few pixels, so about the center of your sprite should be... I usually go off of right after the top uh, pixel of the helmet. There's this decline, the curve to the helmet. I usually get it so that the purple line is right at that or about a pixel away. And then that should get you into Never mind. Uh, here might be good. Yeah. And this is the where the run really gets to be interesting. I'm actually gonna do another quick save here to uh, just demonstrate where the zip can be. This should be fine. This might be good. No, it's not. Basically, you'll want to have... You'll want to be about here. And you'll get your own idea of the visual cues, but basically, right here is what you should be aiming for. And that's about pixel perfect. You can also think like the center of your foot is in the middle of this uh, edge. So throw the bomb and then you'll yeah the bombs are the only thing that allow you to zip. So line yourself up and once you get the zip, well that's great, but if you don't do anything, you'll just drop down into the seam of the uh, room. So what I like to do is just uh, spam between uh, left and right, well, I'll, and I found that doing that zip, going... basically I... Uh, run my thumb across the bottom of the control pad uh, and just alternate which side uh, I'm pressing and basically what that does is uh, it makes you start the zip and it's just it, ma it makes you start moving 
Basically, you only really need inputs when you want to stop or when you uh, need to cross a room boundary because you've hit a seam. Oh, down the ladder, basically your entire sprite should be inside of the tile that's the top of the ladder. So here would be good, here probably wouldn't be, and this definitely wouldn't be. So, you know, you also have a few pixels there. Uh, and a bit of the zip can depend on where you are vertically on the ladder, but it's really not something to worry about, because it's often something you can't control uh, precisely enough before the bomb detonates. So throw the bomb, and then just alternate left and right, and you should get right into this corner and drop down no problem. And I actually want to see what happens when I load a quick save. Alright. Yeah. So I'll start there, and then you'll just want to uh, kill those bats and go into this room. So the really nice thing about this room is that the zip is self-aligning. So anywhere, basically anywhere you have um, a ladder, the top of the ladder, then one free tile, and then a wall. And even though this may not look like it, this is just a regular wall tile, it has the same collision box. Uh, basically, being just climb down the ladder a bit, climb back up, and you're in the perfect position to start a zip. So basically, if you're in the center of that tile, that'll be perfect. And anything with a two, yeah, two, uh, basically a too high corridor or more, you can basically use that reference point. You should be in the center of the tile or very slightly closer to the ladder. So anyway, go down the ladder, go back up, throw the bomb, get into the right spot, and then two things can happen depending on where you are uh, on the vertical ladder, and I'll try to get the other one. Yeah, so you can either zip right across, which is what you really want here, but you won't want it in other scenarios. You actually use this place to zip three times in the run. <sighs> Need to drink water. Or else you just go to the seam of the room and fall down, and it'll be about a second or two before you can do anything. Uh, if that happens, uh, jump and then at the arc, uh, at the uh, top of your jump arc, just hit uh, right then left, and that'll get you right into the position you need for this room. So, that, recover, jump right left, and then there's this room. And this room holds pretty much the most important item, which is the double jump. So what you want to do is throw a bomb there to kill that guy, and then you don't want to get hit by the explosion of that bomb, because that'll knock you right into the lava, which is insta-kill. Or, really, the fireball will do that before anything can happen. So throw it, switch weapons during that jump, by the way, and just jump into that statue. Bomb. Jump switch. Alright, now that you're there... Uh, the next step you want to do is use your boomerang to get four hits on the next statue. So throw your boomerang and then jump.
and you'll get four hits, and then you want to jump over that next fireball. Jump over this, and then... oh. I think the game ate my jump input, or I didn't press the button hard enough. And if, if you get the fast or the slow zip, it's the same. Then you want to kill that thing with your sword and uh, by jumping into it. And then as soon as you land on this platform, <coughs> there will be a fireball coming at you, so just jump over that like so. And then after you land, throw a boomerang, it'll do five hits, and he'll die. Then just jump across and get your cast. And those are the double jump boots. So, pretty standard way of double jumping. Just, you know, hit the button an extra time in the air. There's some interesting things uh, with this. If you drop off of a ledge, you'll only get one jump. See how I only got one jump there instead of the double jump? And also, even if you double jump across a room transition, you'll get... Uh, you'll get a um, extra jump, but you'll only have one jump ever when going between a transition unless you're on the ground. If you're in the air, uh, you get one jump no matter what. So then double jump across here, just make sure you use your jump arc so that uh, you don't want to be caught on the ground in the lag of your sword swing too much, so just as you're in the air coming toward it, swing your sword, and then grab the chest. And then just drop down. Sorry, drop down and hold right. Drop down, hold right, just single jump across here. You can also do another jump here. And this is where you have to make a decision. Uh, it depends on how much health you have. Basically you're gonna have to take uh, you're gonna have to take at least uh, damage from a laser and then damage from one bomb. Uh, or if you want to go faster, you're going to have to take damage from two bombs. And that's not counting any mistakes you might make. So if you want to go up here and heal, which is a save point, and come back down, that's fine. And that's what I'm going to do, just to get my health back. Kill these guys if you're low on ammo. Again, just whenever there's enemies in your path that you can easily kill, basically one hit, you'll want to do it. So, kill these guys. Don't jump into this room, but as soon as you enter the room, just pace your double jumps like that. Really, it doesn't matter. You can even do a single jump from the floor. and you'll land on the platform, and then you can double jump, and it won't waste any time. And then just single jump across these platforms, double jump up to the top of the ladder, and you should grab it right away. Uh, so basically, you now in this room, you want to kill all three of these bats without taking damage. Like that. And that's actually easier than it looks. You basically just have to 
use I use this line this line between bricks when you're in the middle of that just and honestly you're moving a bit fast so it can you know be a bit less reliable than I'd like but In fact, it's actually a bit before that line. It's here-ish. I don't know what pixel it is, but... Just... yeah. This is one of the things I still have trouble doing in runs, just because... You don't really have time to position it. That's how it should look like. Just practice until it gets there. I haven't yet. Walk over here. Make sure you're not holding up still from this ladder, because then you'll start to climb this, and then if you're still holding up, then that bat will hit you, and it's just not good. Double jump up these stairs. Ignore these guys unless you need ammo, in which case, kill this one. Probably not worth killing that guy or that guy. Drop down. Do a couple of short hops over these gaps. And then <coughs> ride the ceiling so that you grab onto this right as you can and as high as you can. And then just single jump up there while holding up and really, I guess, right still because you're heading right. After you get on the ladder, you can just hold up and left. Walk right there. Release my input display? What do you mean? Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's sort of hacked together, honestly. It requires... Uh, for one thing, it's Windows only, which isn't a problem because this game is Windows only. Uh, but it requires you to have your keys mapped to, I think it's Z, X, C, and the arrow keys. I mean, they're the default mappings. Uh, I'll put it up in the zip somewhere, in the tutorial description, once that goes up. But yeah, the input display is nice. Uh, uh, it has a green background, so I can just chroma key it out right onto the stream really easily. Alright, so... And you'll want to kill... So after that, you can just walk straight out of this room. And if I'm not bad. I can... Pretty sure you can kill these bats in one jump. Can you not? I'm not actually sure what I do here. Yeah. You'll want to jump around here so you can kill them both in one jump. Oh, that's a bug I have. Uh, sometimes, uh, because... <sighs> this game doesn't run so well on newer machines, because it turns out the MIDI interface for more recent operating systems is a lot slower with this game. So what I do is I just install this program called... Uh, Coolsoft Virtual MIDI. I'll... Uh, and installing that, uh, and setting it to be your basically default MIDI device will eliminate the lag that gets artificially added by bad compatibility on, like, Windows 7's, uh, MIDI interface. So... 
yeah, kill those guys, just keep walking. Keep walking, and then there's two strategies you can do here. So, you can switch to your bomb, you are gonna need it at some point. So first strategy, same time, same thing you did the first time. You know, nothing wrong with that. It's a bit slow because you have to mash out of that. So you can switch to your bomb <coughs> and damage boost through it, then wait for that laser while you're on the ladder, and then climb up. Yeah, no problem. It, it's just really problematic when you're trying to figure out why this game released in 2004 is running at 10 frames per second on your stream. Uh, use either of those strategies, keeping in mind uh, you're going to have to take another bomb hit after this to zip back to the start of the game. So... If you don't have the health, don't do it, basically. And if you saved, you should have the... If you saved at that save point before, you should have the health. Then jump down. In this room, well, drop down, really. Same thing as before. Kill this guy, and then you're gonna want to... do a double jump like that. No real trick to it, just practice so you can get it in one go. Shouldn't be that hard. And then climb up this ladder. Go over to the left, and now you're in this room, which is really nice because it serves as a great place to get ammo if you're low. I personally am not low. So in this next room, uh, the item you want is right here. And you want to time it so that uh, so that you can grab that item without getting hit by a fireball. <laughs> so what you do is go over and kill that guy. One moment. Let me just make a quick save here. You can double jump up here, kill this guy. Mm. Do a double jump, get right in there. With the get right into the cavity with chest. And grab it, and you should be able to get out before he launches a fireball. The green scroll lets you have an extra projectile on screen. And then just climb up to this ladder, and be here. So, uh, going into this room, if you did that strategy, just climb up to the top of the ladder. Make sure you're facing this way once you get off. Uh, when you get off of the ladder, you'll be facing the direction you most recently faced. You can't change which direction that is on the ladder, so... Uh, just go up that ladder, switch to the bomb if you aren't already, throw it, get into the zip position, and then zip across. And it's that same sort of alternating, like this, pattern. And that should zip you across pretty quick. Grab onto this ladder, go up, double jump. And just... Basically the same strategy as the start of the game for these few rooms. Kill the guys as fast as you can. Get enough ammo. Switch to the boomerang at some point. And then going into this room. Do that. Throw the boomerang at the start of this. If those drop ammo, that's fine. Grab the key. That's the key to the first dungeon. You can drop down here, kill this slime. You don't really need to. And then there's <coughs> this room. So this entrance leads to the dungeon, and this entrance leads to another item. And we're going to get this item first. So 
going into the room, just double jump. Hold on, get A to jump again. Double jump, double jump, double jump. And then going into this room, uh, mash the attack button, which will buffer uh, hitting that chest, then just grab it, come right back out, go over here. And you can kill all three of these slimes. What is that? Sirens. Uh, anyway, you can kill those guys three in a row. Just go right up here, jump up on this ladder, save if you must, open the door, go through it. And welcome to Dungeon 1, uh, Dodo's Cavern, Dodo, Dodo's Nest, something. I don't actually know the English names. They're on my splits, but I don't remember them. So this room, double jump so you can keep moving. Really easy. This room, this room here, jump around there. Actually, let me do that again. Kill the first two bats in one jump, land, immediately attack again, and you should kill the third bat, then continue on your way. <coughs> this room, also very easy. Just drop down, kill that one, kill this bat, get on that ladder, zip. Same sort of zipping position. The same zipping technique is always. And that'll get you right here. Kill these slimes if you want, otherwise dodge them somehow. Uh, and you'll get into this room. And this is sort of a sticky situation for a zip. You don't really have enough room to set up normally. I mean, you can do that. But it'll start you past here and you might trigger room transitions. And really the easier way is just... <coughs> Basically there's a reference point I have which is this diagonal right here, the edge of this tile, the diagonal edge of this tile, should about line up with the curve of uh, your character's helmet. So I think here would probably be fine. No. That's a bit too far to the left. Um, here's good. So really, basically, you're just going to want to walk up almost next to the wall. If you're in the position, which I am right now, carry, uh, carry on with the zip. If you're not, just scooch in either direction as you have to until you get into that position. Then you're want to, gonna want to go into this room. You can double jump over these spikes. And then here's the boss. And you can actually not exit out of boss rooms once the boss, ro once the boss fight starts, so that's something to keep in mind. Alright, so, Dodo, stand here, wait for a bit, throw two bombs, and then you'll just want to... Let me do that again. So, go right into the middle here. That was a bit too late. And you'll want to always keep one boomerang at him, on him at a time. And that's pretty simple. Uh, because basically 
Having two boomerangs hit him at once probably won't get the same amount of damage as just one, as just two boomerangs thrown separately because invincibility frames might overlap. And you don't want invincibility frames to overlap <coughs> because then you're losing damage. And uh, the less damage you get per ammo means you're going to have to collect more ammo. You can use the music to time one to throw the bombs. Anyway, after the, four at the fourth boomerang, he should jump. And that was a bit too early. And then you're just gonna want to throw boomerangs while spamming swords. And if these things drop ammo, go over to them before, uh, once he starts exploding, he has no hitbox. <coughs> Grab those. Come back to where the key is. Just pick up the key. And the door will appear. Exit. Save if you have to. You might not need to. You can skip that slime. Uh, the way it'll work out is uh, if you save, you can go under him. Otherwise, you probably just kill all three. <coughs> this room, just drop down here. Try to be about here. Throw a boomerang that way and do a little short hop so that the boomerang flies <coughs> like here-ish, so that it'll hit all three of those blocks. And then grab the arrow. So, in this room, the goal is to kill all the enemies again. So, line up against here, <coughs> throw a boomerang, you can get, you know, three to five hits there, just finish him off, finish that turret off with the sword. You might not need to. Then go here, throw a boomerang uh, through the wall, kill the bottom one, then this one, then this one, and you'll be right where the gem drops. And then depending on if any of those dropped ammo, follow that. Follow the path that'll get you ammo, because they're all roughly the same uh, distance. And you can approach this zip from either direction, and the visual cue you want to use is you'll want to be toward the end of this quarter tile. So like, there-ish? And you can see explosion right on the center. Yeah. So then you'll want to do the zip the same as always. Climb up this ladder once you get to it, you'll be just automatically ejected. You can't avoid that, uh, so just hold left and take the hit. <sighs> um, <clears throat> so now you'll want to jump up onto this ladder, and you'll probably want to wait until the slimes are off of the top of the ladder before you uh, jump off, otherwise you're going to take a hit. If they're taking a ridiculous amount of time, just take the hit. There's a save point after this, and you've probably lost enough time at that point than is necessary, so just don't mess around with the RNG. Just do that. Again, you'll want to do the trick so that you spend as little time on the ground when swinging your sword as possible. Pick up the axes. Those won't be useful for a while. 
then uh, just head up this ladder. <coughs> and this is an interesting thing. Uh, you'll want to double jump and break open that wall there. It's one tile down from the little crevice there. Make sure you're facing the right way. Open it, and then while that text prompt is showing up, <coughs> hold the uh, sword button, the attack button, and what'll that? And that'll uh, that'll uh, start a, a charge as soon as you can. So grab it, charge. And then what you do with that charge is you do a single jump at the arc, at the top of that arc. You use the charge attack, and then as soon as that's over, you use your uh, double jump, your second jump, to uh, curve around here. So what that looks like is basically... And that takes some timing, and it's fine. Uh, that's the only time you're going to use that, because uh, <laughs> it turns out that getting that and doing that trick is either about the same time or faster than, you know, platforming over here, and then waiting here until you can jump, and then going across. It's about the same time. Then go into this room. Very simple. Kill the bats. Obviously, you'll want to go a bit faster than that. Oops. <coughs> that bat is in an interesting place. You can do that if you don't feel like getting the pickups, which you honestly should care about. I don't because I have a ridiculous amount of ammo. I'm just gonna get to a more realistic. So 17 is probably about good here. Open the door. Go into dungeon 2. Switch the bombs immediately, probably even before getting into the dungeon. Uh, walk forward, and the cue here is basically this eye. And a lot of dungeons will have this pattern. <coughs> and again, a ceiling too high, you'll want to be this distance, which is like two and a half blocks away. Basically, uh... So basically, you'll want to be one, two, yeah, two and a half blocks away from the center of the ladder. Uh, and you can be a bit forward from the center, but not a bit back, so... Technically, you can also do this here, but it's this side's closer to the door, so... Do that. Normal zip. Head down this ladder. And we want to go to this ladder, so same sort of reference point, except this time we're dodging. And just regularly go across that uh, barrier, just that room transition, just tap right, and you'll get ejected right here. And then just hold right. And again, if those guys are, if those two slimes are on top of each other, basically here and only here, you can kill them both in one swing. <coughs> Move on to here. Use this room of reprieve to switch to boomerangs. Three switches from bomb. In this gap, double jump, climb the ladder. Double jump, 
double jump so you don't have to climb a good majority of that ladder. And the basic strategy... Oh, yeah. Bad is one boss you can actually leave for some reason. So, basically. That strategy. Basically, double jump and boomerangs. And then once he... And, uh, the side... The side you're standing, uh... The side of the bat that you're standing on is the direction that he'll go after that cycle of fireballs. So he goes to, and you'll want to kite him in sort of natural directions. And that's a pretty ideal fight, and it's pretty simple. And just stand where the key spawns, which is right here in the center of the room, uh, and spam up so you grab it immediately. And I'll do that for all the bosses, so wherever I'm standing when the boss dies... Wherever I'm standing while I'm waiting for the key to appear is where the key will appear. Then just exit the dungeon, save if you must, drop down here, wait for this guy, hit him twice, hit that guy twice, and get this. And this is the shield, and it lets you block projectiles. Kill these three guys, hope for ammo. Switch one to the bomb. Throw the bomb here, step back a bit so you don't get hit by its explosion. Drop down here. <coughs> and again, we're using that sort of quarter tile. Except this time, the uh, reference point, the visual cue, is a bit murkier because you have the shield. But here should be about fine. Or, no. Yeah. Here should be about fine. Throw the bomb, get onto it. And you'll want to uh, hold left a lot during this zip, because you'll basically want to descend into this area, which is the third dungeon. And going off to that side, which I'll actually show you right now, will actually boot you off to the main menu and then you'll have to load your game. <sighs> Fortunately, I have another save here, because I tried to quick save there. Uh, anyway. What? No. And make sure you always get the full height out of your double jumps. Because if you don't, you will fall, and you will be sad. <laughs> so anyway. Don't get hit there, shield through that instead. <laughs> Step back a bit, go down here, you can break that if you want. Line yourself up again. This quarter you want to be. You want to have one, two, three, and then you'll want to have right. You'll want to be basically right at the edge of that tile. Throw it. Get on the ladder. And that was a bit off. Uh, this should be good, or not? That time I was actually too low vertically on the ladder. Here about, and again, I'm being too low down on the ladder. Uh, 
And these one high ceiling ones are always sort of hard to get. Really, you want to be more here-ish. Yeah. And then, uh, hold left. And to descend, just jump. Once. And you'll be right out of that wall. And then save, you'll... You might need to, you might not. And now I'm actually pretty low on ammo, so... You probably need about 10 ish ammo for this dungeon. So I'm gonna just get that from these guys. Uh, if you came across this in a normal run, having too little ammo, well, for one thing, you got bad RNG on your run. Okay, so this is good. Jump up to kite both of these guys. And try to kill them. Like that. Otherwise, if they're, you know, around this area, you can just climb the ladder and you shouldn't be disturbed by them. Now, you'll want to set up another uh, zip in this one high corridor off of this ladder, because the boss is right in the next room. Or... Well, not really. The boss is actually one down from here, but the way dungeon zipping works is a bit weird with how the rooms wrap. Anyway, uh... Kite the ghosts. And see, they won't disturb me now while I'm trying to set this up. And I actually have a different way of setting it up uh, in this background, in this dungeon background. And I'll kill this guy with a bomb to show an easier way, really. So basically, this small diamond here... You'll basically want half of that showing past your character sprite. About here, so that, yeah, half of it is showing, like I said. Throw the bomb. Normal zip. Actually, there you can get pushed out. I'm not quite sure what causes that. <clears throat> it's always a bit frustrating when it happens. So basically, the strategy for Golja is... Can you actually leave Golja? Yeah, you can leave Golja. You won't actually be able to get out normally, because this normally needs an item, a special dungeon item, to open. <laughs> so before Golja, switch to boomerangs. You might have grabbed onto this ladder during the zip. Throw a boomerang, and basically you'll want to just throw boomerangs at him so they don't intercept. <coughs> Dodge these electric spikes. And then be about here and just sword him a bunch. When he uh, goes up, and you should be able to get about five, the maximum is six sword hits off of him while he's dropping. And that's a nice, clean fight. And then the key spawns here, so just spam up right there once he starts exploding. Exit the dungeon. Again, save if you have to. And now comes basically the worst stretch of the game, which is the worst series of zips and then the worst dungeon. 
So basically, you'll want to drop down here, and you'll want to keep holding. All right, drop down here and immediately start holding uh, to the left, and then don't let go of it even after you're about here. Even after you're dropping off, if you let go of left, you'll get hit by the spike ball from this guy. So keep holding left, then just go out that way. Dodge that guy. Make sure you have, a, yeah, about 7 ammo. 5 ammo, about minimum, is correct for this next segment. And here is another ceiling zip. Uh, one high ceiling zip, one high corridor zip, which I hate. And it's also a zip to the left, which isn't normally possible, but we do it by riding along the ridge of a room, basically. The uh, scene of a room. <laughs> so... I want to position yourself in this quarter tile. Around here-ish, really. That's where your center should be. Like, there might be fine. No. Too far away, I think. Here. No. Oh, right. Actually, if you just put basically the middle of your sprite down this line here, you should be fairly alright. And what you want to do is, uh, as soon as you get onto that ladder and you think you're gonna zip, which you should always think you're gonna zip, hold right. And then you'll be riding down this seam. If you're not holding right, uh, actually, let's see what happens. You'll be here. And then... What can you actually do from here? Hold right. Yeah, then you can't actually do it. <clears throat> so, again, position yourself. Hold right, and then while you're riding along that seam, hit left then right, and then spam jump. So how that looks like is that, and basically hitting left and right will trigger the room transition in a way that it'll push you out to here, <laughs> but your vertical position will still be the same, so you can be caught here or here, so if you spam jump, you'll just pop out of there. And then you can proceed to the left. And the timing on these guys looks scary, but just get to the gap, drop right down, and while you're falling you can actually kill that guy, then jump and kill that guy. Grab the ammo if you can. Keep to the left. Uh, and then in this room, no bomb shenanigans, no getting frozen, just shield that laser and go on your way. Uh, you can kill this guy if you want. Again, very little time wasted. And now, we get to use this zip point again for the second time out of three. So there's a few things that you want to know. Basically here, if you remember, you can get the quick zip before, and that ruins what we are trying to do. It takes us to the wrong area completely. We don't want to go back to the double jump room. Uh, so instead, we're going to hold right, which will prevent the quick thing, the quick zip, from ever happening. Uh, you'll still go into that room. I'll explain it 
Uh, yeah, basically you'll have to go through room transitions a bit until you uh, get in the right position. But basically, set up the zip like normal, hold right. Now if you don't get the quick zip, that's actually the best, uh, because you don't have to mess around with room transitions. So what you're going to do is uh, hold right, and then jump four times. And in this room, you're going to want to switch to the axes, and then uh, zip over a bit, and then start jumping. And the goal in this room is to kill all three fishes. All three fish, whatever. And basically what that zip did was allow it to bypass a lot of stuff. A lot of... basically two more rooms of this slow-moving water. Anyway, switch to arrows now. You can do this double jumping to make yourself go faster. And when you go across that barrier... Uh... room transition... I gotta stop saying barrier. Uh... you'll want to shoot three arrows to get those three guys out of the way, so you can do this. Kill that fish, <sighs> climb up, and proceed to the right. Kill those three guys. Really, it's hard to kill the third one, because he'll come right after you. Wait until that guy goes, and then just double jump to get past anything that may be in the way. Save here, you are going to need to. Open the dungeon and head into Gyra's Bog. So Gyra's Bog is the water level and it's awful. So to start it off, go here, double jump. Oops, got that a bit wrong already. Basically, we want to double jump. Use up another jump as you uh, enter the next screen, and then uh, shoot an arrow. And basically you don't want to hit the middle guy. Uh, so you don't want to get hit there by that guy after you chain into that. So you can either take it slow like that, or you can jump out of the water a bit to speed yourself up. Anyway, just stagger your double jumps to kill those fish, and then go up here. And then another weird zip here. So you're gonna want to get it so a bit less than half of this is uh, covered up by your sprite. So that should be good. Then go on to here. Before you go into the next room, switch weapons once to the arrow. And now how you do this zip is you double jump, and then tap right, tap left, hold right. And that will get you a... Uh, oh, sorry double jump at the uh, very height of that jump, which will be there. Tap right, tap left, hold right, and then buffer jump into the next room. So that looks like this. And then once you get to that platform, hit that guy with uh, your sword twice. And... Uh, shoot two arrows, and so basically you'll want to land here, hit the uh, blue fish over here with your sword twice, and then as soon as he's dead, shoot two arrows at the one over here. Then just jump across this gap, go over here, and if you're fast enough, <coughs> well this guy is jumping, he'll always jump at the same place. There's no RNG on these guys. Uh, he'll go right over you, and you won't have to slow down. <clears throat> Alright, this room. 
So you want to wait a second, and then double jump, and then move over to the uh, left a bit. Uh, in the middle of that. So, wait about... I like timing this to the music. So wait about... Wait about three beats. So, one, two, three. And you'll want to do a little, uh, do a little move to the left. So that you can dodge those guys as you're going on the platform. This room's super simple. Double jump. And climb this ladder. <clears throat> and now, a bad stretch of rooms. Climb this ladder, go up to the top and wait. And you'll want to do a short jump around here if you want to get over those guys. Like so. And then just wait for those guys to rise and walk right under them. It's, you know, a bit execution heavy, but it should be easy enough after you practice. Then you'll want to double jump into this. No, not even. You'll want to just go into the next room. Once you hit here, you'll want to immediately jump over this. Kill this. Basically, the goal is to kill the bottom guy. <laughs> and then, even before the top guy's tongue goes down, you can swing your sword. And since the sword's hitbox lasts a few frames, it'll just. the tongue will descend into it, and he'll get a hit. And then you can do a hit right after that to kill him. Like so. Jump onto the button. Go here. Same trick. You can swing before he puts down his tongue and... Now single jumps between these, and then double jump from here, and then another double jump. And if you land on the top platform, then you did it optimally at the right place. Otherwise, just double jump onto here. Jump here, and you get the flippers, which let you move at normal speed through water. And hold on. So, from there, single jump, and double jump, and another jump, and then single jumps into here. So again, you want to use that extra jump that you get when going across rooms. So double jump, and then you get the extra jump, and then another jump, and then another jump. And that'll get you right into that corridor. Kill these guys again, and prepare yourself for one of the worst zips. <sighs> oh. This has been a long tutorial so far. So basically, the zip point the place we want to stand to zip is right under here. And these guys, if you didn't get the blue scroll, are completely invincible. So all you can do is wait for the right time. So basically you're gonna want to, as this one lifts, just run past and... That's why I made a quick save. And throw your bomb and hope you get the right thing, and I did not. And if you miss it, climb back up. And I think this is actually a bit of an easier thing to get. I, I think that was actually good, but I was too low on the... Anyway. On the ladder. Anyway, uh... Gonna try this again. That was too early, you can tell.
That was good. And then you'll want to do a normal zip and climb this second ladder. And just go through here. Climb down this ladder. And you'll want to follow pretty much this path. And that was a bit ad lib, but, you know, it worked out. And you should get a decent amount of drops here. And from here, the dungeon is pretty straightforward. <laughs> the, next ne the next weapon you need is the arrow, so just queue that up. Uh, you'll want to hold up and left as you're going into that room, so you can just climb that ladder. And now you don't need to double jump out of the water because you move at normal walking speed. So just proceed along. Here, two arrows to kill these two guys. Switch to the boomerang. Here you can just do a single jump there, another jump there, and dodge them. If you need to, save off here, because you can go out of the dungeon and you won't lose too much time. If you're low on health, I really do suggest doing that for the first few runs. Drop down, throw a boomerang, and you're gonna want to hold uh, left going into this room, so you just dodge that spike very neatly. Switch to axes in this room, jump here, kill that jellyfish. Double jump, kill that jellyfish, pick up its pickup if it has one. And then we're going to use the axe to kill this one, double jump up, double jump over these. Start to descend, you can kill, you know, some of those guys, or all of them. Dodge these spikes Mega Man style. And for Gyra, basically you'll have to get uh, six round, six cycles of uh, using the bombs on his tail, which is his weak point. So as you enter, just hold right. Oh, hold on. Let's see, I'm at boomerang, so it should be. Three to switch over to bombs. No, one to switch over to bombs. Yeah. <clears throat> and a good reference point I've found is uh, aim. Basically, throw the bombs at this second segment right here, at around here, and then it'll hit the tail no problem. So you get. Basically a free hit there. And this guy can be a bit of a troll. Oh yeah, important here, don't get hit by him, don't get hit by your own bombs. <clears throat> he can waste a lot of time, but he's not really a hard boss. So there's two, and you see he's trolling me right now. Apparently you can manipulate him, but I have no idea how. And that was sort of bad. And you don't need bu double bombs each time, actually. You can basically miss one bomb and you should be fine. And after six rounds of that, he'll die. The key will be right over here. You might not be right at the key, if so. Just run over, get it, exit the dungeon. And you've done the most annoying dungeon in the game. Head to the left. Dodge these guys with jumps. Head up this ladder, kill these guys. <laughs> kill this guy coming up. Kill those two bats, climb here, do this weird jump again. You can kill these two guys, I recommend not killing that bat. Head up to here, and this is your next dungeon, Bulliger's Cavern. 
Uh, you'll want to have arrows on call here. And if... If Dungeon 4 was the most annoying dungeon, Dungeon 5 has the most annoying boss. So. Starting out pretty simple. Go down this ladder. First of all, RNG ghosts! Great. Dodge them. I don't care how. Head down here, and you'll notice it's dark. And that's the gimmick of this dungeon, you only have a limited range of sight. But that shouldn't be a problem. And you get full sight in the above areas and during the boss, so... Honestly, I really do want the challenge because no one runs this right now. And then once you're down here, uh, you'll want to drop... Of course you'll want to drop off this platform here and just... Hold to the left. Double jump into this next room. And you'll need four arrows along the top here because there's four bats along the top. And there's a zip here. Pretty simple. Normal position to start out with just beneath this eye here. Make sure you're under the right eye. The correct eye. Uh, Okay, so that should be good. And what you're gonna do is, once you're on the ladder, you're gonna hold right. And that'll push you right past that statue. Grab onto the top of that ladder, wait for this spike ball to pass, double jump over it. In this room, this room uses cycles. So what you want to do is go in, and right at this edge where uh, the normal edge goes off to this block, you'll want to double jump there and delay the second jump. Then double jump over that, switch to arrows, launch two arrows here to kill a ghost that'll spawn about here, uh, but he won't spawn until you're about here, so you can't launch them here-ish. Head over here, hit this button and then head back. Switch to bombs, double jump over this. Now the timing for this is basically you'll want to wait until this swinging ball is at the uh... until you know... you'll have to time it so that this swinging ball that you can see is at the side of its arc that you can't see. So when it's uh, basically when the ball is the rightmost it can be. <laughs> so it goes left, right, left, right. So left, right, and then go. And then that if you time that right, this spike ball will come in right behind you, but you won't get hit by it. Go across. Wait about here for this spike ball to be at its rightmost. Double jump over it. Head here. Descend this ladder. Now for the start of Lolidra, and hold on. Alright. For the start of Lolidra, you're gonna want to throw bombs at him from here. You can get four rounds of bombs in. And this is just an And this is the boss that's actually most helpful to use the music to time the pattern of, because... Uh, his cycle will always go...
His cycle will always be the same in respect to the music. So basically, uh, you'll really just want to feel out this fight. The, uh, the enemies he spawn poison you when they hit you, and spawn at random places, so this is the most random boss fight. But basically, you'll want to use bombs whenever he appears. One, two, three, four, appear. And you really don't want to get poisoned. It's just a bad time. It'll chip away your life. And... One, two, three. And, you know, eventually you'll get used to it, but it's basically the strategy that's the worst of all of them. If you have enough ammo, you can actually uh, stand right beneath him and spam axes. Uh, and basically, as soon as you throw an axe, you'll... Uh, <laughs> as soon as the axe hits him, the axe will disappear. So, you can really just, uh, hit him really quickly, but it requires a lot of ammo, and that's ammo you probably won't have. So if you have maybe 60 ammo, which you won't, generally, you can go for the quick kill. Anyway, I hope I explained that boss well enough, but exit, save, you'll probably need it. And now you get a fun dungeon. With an annoying boss, but a really just altogether enjoyable dungeon. No zips to set up. So just, you know, proceed to this, save, if you want, open the dungeon. So you'll want to have the arrows available here. As you go into that room, use an arrow. Three arrows here to kill him. And then kill those bats by basically jumping up here and then doing that sort of thing. Three arrows here. Three arrows there. And you'll want to ju basically juke this bat by aggroing him. So you'll want to go around here, like here-ish is his range for aggro, really here-ish. This block, yeah, this block, this tile right here is where I'll get aggro. So basically when you're coming through, you'll want to jump like that, you know, jump like that, and then just go past him. This next room, single jump there, double jump, and double jump over. And then switch once to the axe, this is the reason we got the axe. Double jump, kill those. Switch twice to the bombs, throw those. As soon as the collisions are gone, do that. Normally you'd have to get an item here. Okay, now for the next room, it's basically Mega Man uh, disappearing platforms on a timer. So the timer is like this. But this room is actually a lot easier than it looks. Uh, those mosquito enemies, if you do this right, will never hit you. So basically go over here, double jump here, double jump, double jump. And then you'll want to switch three times over to the arrow. And get to do a really fun, just really altogether enjoyable room. So climb up here, double jump, arrow, double jump. And it looks really cool, and it's great. Switch to the bomb. 
throw it and move at the same time after you wait for that to pass. Grab this. This is a this is the coin we need to get to the boss. And when going up through that, you'll want to use your sword as you're on the ascending part of your jump. Jump over this guy. Go back down. <coughs> you can't uh, get past these guys. Uh, you have to wait for them for two cycles. Jump over that guy. Switch to arrows here. Double jump around there. Kill these bats. Three more arrows. Hope the yellow slime doesn't hit you, because if it does, it's hell. You can save here if you want. I will, because this boss, if you get it wrong, it just ruins you. It can stun lock you. Go over to here, hit up. That will use the coin. Double jump here, switch to bombs. So basically... You'll want to get those four hits in on him at the beginning. And then... You can just spam him to death with boomerangs real easily. And the key will be right here. Now I'm going to show you what that boss fight can look like if you miss the initial hits. So say I accidentally get hit here, and then... Those blasts paralyze you, and then... Honestly, that wasn't too bad, because he's at the right height now. Just spam to death with boomerangs. But you basically want to practice the beginning of this fight, so that you can... not mess it up, and lose the run right there. And his tail also does this paralysis thing, which is super annoying and slows you down. So, yeah, that's that. Now we have very little ammo. Probably the norm at this point in the run, but anyway. Uh, you'll want to go down a few rooms, and honestly, farm ammo here while you still can. This is the best room to farm ammo, probably, in the game. And you'll want around 26 to 30 ammo. And I'm actually just gonna kill these guys here for the rest of it. <coughs> Alright. Really, you should have closer to 30. I'll be going into Dungeon 7 with basically a minimum right now. And here is the third and final time we're using this as a place to zip from. <laughs> 